What's going on guys? Welcome back to Uber Adventures. I'm John and today we are taking a look at the Nobo 16.1 by No Boundaries. Now this one is, it's light, it's large, and it has everything that you possibly could need to go camping. Let's take a look at it. But before we do, I want to say thank you so much for my subscribers. As of this morning, I am about 40 subscribers away from hitting my one th my first goal of 1000 subscribers so thank you thank you very much and if you enjoy this video please subscribe hit the bell notification and like the video so let's go ahead and jump in all right guys so let's start with the front so i do have this canopy open and this is in the front so this is all part of a different rv i got a video for it already um, link will be down in the description for this one right here but let's take a look over here ignore this pole because that's part of the the bat wing canopy so from the very front you do have a fiberglass front cap along with the rock guard which is I believe just a plastic but I mean it's just supposed to kind of take the impact of rock so no big deal you have your Nobo logo then below it you can see straight through it it is your front window which is great to have coming down we have our spare tire right under where the batteries go which is really cool and super convenient for the location as long as it's going to be underneath it's nice that it's very very easy to get to where your batteries are going to be you have a 20 pound tank of propane here and then you have your electric front jack which is actually quite long considering this thing basically has a full lift on it so and it's super super big it's girthy and then of course you have it can go up and down and it can be lit up which it's quite bright so that's always nice all right and then you do have stabilizer jacks all the way around on all four corners of course you have your pass-through storage right here go right here and then of course you have a awning let me get back so you can see it you have a large awning right here it goes pretty much as, as far as it can possibly go before it starts to drop off it is LED lit, but you also have this extremely bright, it's hard to actually uh, convey on camera, but it's blinding me right now, light right there. You also have that same kind of light on the back or the front, however you want to look at it, right there. So that's really nice. It's super bright. We left this on overnight, and when we got into the store, this was still lit up and everything was dark inside, and it lit up the entire inside. So that tells you how bright that really is. Coming down, you have a fresh water connection right here. Over here you have your Suburban furnace. And then it does have a Suburban uh, flat top grill and it does hook directly in to your propane. But if you don't wanna use this, and you wanna bring your own grill, you can still hook it directly into the propane right there. So you don't have to use this, but it's nice because it actually mounts to the side of the RV itself. So that's a huge plus. Um, your fenders can handle up to 300 pounds, so you can stand up here, kind of get whatever you need on top if you're tall enough. I mean, this thing is very tall. So I think it's close to 10 feet tall. And then, of course, you got the Wrangler, uh, Goodyear Wrangler tires, off-road, of course, with the uh, aluminum. I think these are 15 inches, no, 16 inch tires. And then coming over here, you have the beast mode suspension. Let's see if we can get a good look. It's all done by Kurt and it's independent suspension. There's not a single axle that goes all the way across. So it's a true independent. You have your 110 plug right here. And then you have your spray outlet right here, your pressurized spray. You have a black tank flush. You have your solar on the side so you can hook up your briefcase or just a a travel solar uh, panel. All your lighting is gonna be LED. And of course, so this is kind of your front door or back door, however you wanna look at it. There's only one door. Um, it, it does have Step Above by Moride. All LEDs, of course, LED taillights. You have the full glass door, which looks awesome on this. And of course, you are pre-wired for your backup camera. Of course, this one has solar on board as well, and it does have the beast mode package from Kurt. And then you have Asdell on board, which these are really cool. So you have two layers of Asdell. So 
after this top layer of fiberglass, you have Asdale, and then on the inside, you have your outside layer, your inside layer that you see, which is gonna be then covered by Asdale on the inside of that. So it's really, really nice to have that. Coming on this side, you have the same fenders. I'm going to go around to the other side so we can see because this is too close to the wall, as you can tell. So let's go around. All right. So come in over here. You have your six gallon hot water heater. You have your city water connection. You have your cable satellite hookup. And of course, you have your 30 amp power hookup right there. Oh, this is so tight. I'm so fat for this. All right, that covers everything on the outside. Let's take a look on the inside. All right, looking at the, uh, the door jam, it gives you a lot of your specs. Um, so the dry weight, I don't know if you can actually make that out, is 2,968 pounds. The full length of this RV is 14 foot four inches. So if that gives you a little bit of information there. So we have three steps. Four step goes into the RV itself. And we'll start low so, because there's quite a bit on the bottom here. So we do have the road vac system right here. So you can hook up and vacuum if it's a distance, like you're trying to vacuum a table, oh, a table. If you're trying to vacuum something specific at a distance on the other side of the RV, it might work better to actually use the road vac hookup with the hose, or you can sweep it all up, lift this right here. And it'll suck it right up and it is powerful and then let's go over here so on the very entrance you have your awning you have your awning led your porch light and your interior light along with a plug you have storage down here Now I've had some complaints about showing storage areas. That's not going to change to me. If I'm looking for something I want to buy, I want to be able to see like how much storage space there is because just because you see this, you don't know how the, uh, how deep it is. It could be two inches deep or it could be five feet deep, you know, obviously not five feet, but so let's go ahead and take a look. And of course these are already pre-wired and they're already come with your, uh, TPMS sensor so that's a huge plus and then you do also get your JBL speakers because everybody's getting rid of the outdoor speakers because Bluetooth just makes so much more sense so just more storage over here and then coming down this is a I don't see any brand on this one your uh, vent hood but it is lit and let's see how loud the fan is Okay, so it's got a little bit of noise, but it's not terrible. And then below that, you do have a Suburban two burner uh, grill slash stove, I guess. It could be looked at in both ways. You have an acrylic sink with a very uh, uh, Mad Max vibe uh, <laughs> uh, faucet. I really dig it. And then of course you have two USB plugs so you can be cooking and watching videos my videos I assume and then you have a convection oven all right we're gonna keep on going down this way you have a full-size 12 volt fridge nice in size And then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to save all that for later because it's such it's kind of in its own space. Now you have a full size, full size shower. This is going to be kind of hard to get a good view of. So coming all the way down and then I'll stand in it to give you an idea. So I'm five foot seven. So I'd say about six foot four, six foot three could fit in here pretty easily. Um, obviously, if you're taller, you can kind of shrink down. We've all had to do it at some point, especially for camping. And what's really cool about this one, you have a piece right here that changes color when it gets hot, when the water gets hot. So you can turn on your, your faucet, you can kind of close your door, 
which I actually like this. That's cool. So it's kind of like a shower curtain, but it rolls up. So it stays out of the way and it doesn't, it gets taut when you get it all the way open. But this will turn color once your water gets hot. So you're not having to constantly put your hands in. You can just check that and you'll know if it's hot or not. And then Eric Cell is your thermostat, but it's a Coleman mock air conditioning. And then back here, you do have your toilet. So you have an all around perfect place. You have your toilet down there. It's your own room. You have your solar charge controller, which is obviously not working because we're inside a building. You have your tank heaters right here. You have your uh, water heater and your water pump along with all your tank uh, information, whether it's full or empty. And then you have your plug in right there. And you got a little camera or a camera a mirror right here along with a vent in the bathroom you know just to save the ladies a little bit all right let's take a look in the back all right moving to the back we have our fuse block you have your heater and then you have a plug over here and then this table will lay down and turn into a bed right here and then this bed will actually fold out it's still in its packaging It'll fold out and you'll have a full size bed in here. So it's quite a bit of space. Um, coming over here, you have your TV, which is cool because it actually runs off of a cigarette lighter style plug. And then you have another plug right there. You have storage all the way across. So that's pretty much it back here because you have your pass through right there underneath the bed and this all turns into the other half of the bed. So you actually have lots and lots of bed space. It just, it also seconds as your, um, as your place to eat, your dining table, MSRP on this one. And I'll give you the selling price as well down below. So you'll know exactly what we're selling it for, but this is a sweet little camper. I love it. Super tall, but super perfect. This is the kind of camper you want to go camping in. Easy to maneuver, easy to park, take it off road. You don't have to worry too much about it. Independent suspension, all the tanks, bathroom, shower, the whole nine. But let's go over the specs real quick. All right, let's go over the specs. I don't have a lot of heavy information on this one, but let's go with what I do have. So it is a 315 pound hitch weight. The unloaded vehicle weight is 2,889 pounds and the carrying capacity is 926 pounds. Your exterior length is 14 foot by four inches. Your exterior width is 88 inches. You have a fresh water, a gray water and a black water tank and they're all 30 gallons a piece. And the awning size, it doesn't have the information. So if you are interested in this, Give me a call, shoot me an email, ask me some questions down in the comments and I'll be happy to get that information for you. Uh, but right now with what I have, I don't have that information. So back to me. All right guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe and hit that bell notification. But of course, thank you again for everybody that has subscribed and has liked my videos. But until next time, bye.